So, hello fellow geology buffs and those who just like gold. So, today is the 26th of May. And if you don't know, today in Australia and in other parts of the world we had uh, the lunar eclipse. So if you missed that, look it up. 26th of May lunar eclipse. It's quite interesting. Um, I can't take good photos or good video because I don't have the equipment for it but in today's video we're looking at Creswick's gold map and this gold map is from the 1880s and I did get it off the Victorian government uh, but because it's 1880s it should be out of copyright so we've got geologically and okay let's see what it says geologically and topographically surveyed by Ferdinand M. Krauss under the direction of those Couchman Secretary for Mines and Chief Mining Surveyor or the colony of Victoria, the Honourable Rob Clark, Minister of Mines, uh, Robert Clark. Don't know who he is. Anyway, so down below we have the geological formation. So it's got post Pliocene, upper Pliocene. And if you look on the map, it's a bit hard to tell, so that might be upper Pliocene there. And then, then you've got newer volcanic, so that's basalt. Then we have more Pliocene. So this is, as you can see, it's alluding to alluvial formation, so just eroded rock. And most likely it is the eroded Lower Silurian. Well... It actually is. And the lower Silurian is sandstone, um, most likely, for that. So here I have the geological map of Creswick. And, well, we can see on the map, this is Creswick here. Uh, we have mines. These will be shafts in the town itself. Uh, these will have a look on the explanation. So, if there's the colours, but we've got a lot of information here uh, about the actual deposits of floodplains, uh, sand, seal, polymictic. Gravel, sorted, rounded. Yeah, I don't think any of this will say anything about gold because gold is a very small percentage of the matrix, and most of it's probably. See, so you've got sand from granite, generally poorly sorted and angular. And so when you look at these maps, look at the geological formation because. You also got, so you got angular quartz veins, bedded class. And that's a White Hills gravels. That is Paleogene. So, uh, Paleocene. So that's 66 to 57.8 million years ago. Uh, so that's not from what we learnt that the geological formations that had the rock, uh, quartz that contained the gold was between 44 and 380 million years ago so we're talking uh, probably in the order of Vissian to Devonian so if we have a look it's got altered quartz monzonite to quartz diorite dikes so it has quartz with diorite then you got ever fine grade. So yeah, it gets really complex, but 
if we go down, we can see we have a lot of information here. So you've got faults. So these are oblique faults in plan, in section, and then we have our thrust faults so uh, put on top. Anticlines, so anticline positions, synclines, so synclines go like that, anticlines go like that. So it looks like a, a hill, and the other one looks like a valley. Uh, then we've got bedding strikes. So it's good to actually learn this. So you can see if you, after a certain quartz vein, uh, the bedding and with it actually goes into the mountain or it's been eroded out. Okay. Uh, quartz, slick and slide, lineation with plunge. And so that's what you want to look at. Graptolite fossils, that's definitely what I would look at. The graptolite fossils. So that's more my forte is graptolite fossils. I've never found any though. Okay, so you've got bores. Um, that just gives you information about the geology underneath the ground. But what you need. Shallow gold workings, digging, slicing, dredging, extent known, extent unknown. And so that means extent unknown, extent known. So then we alluvial deep leads. So this is another thing you need to look for if you're looking for gold. These here, these two here. Uh, mine shafts as well, although they might not actually be for gold. A um, mullet heap, so let's see whatever's left. Quarry with reference number and extracted commodity. So you've got shale, dolomite, so you've got different ones. Uh, this doesn't indicate any gold, kaolinite, uh, clay. Feldspar, so different products. Scoria for basalt for roads. Eruption, point of a new volcanic, so that's that. And, but if you're interested in volcanoes, uh, that's an interesting thing to look at. Uh, but for gold, probably no, it's not any useful. And you also need to be mindful of the roads. So there might be a deep bleed, but. You know, there's no road. Uh, and here's a cross section of the map with the Ordovician Quaternary Volcanics. And that looks like uh, here's the volcano itself. You can see Quaternary Volcanics. And here is the, the plug of the volcano coming from Baffalith. So the Baffalith is probably. A few kilometers down and there's another volcano there so that's interesting never seen that on a geological map before and here we have Cambrian rock some more Cambrian uh, and some eroded here and here's a granite so this is a baffleth so this um, doesn't I'm not too sure on the age of that baffleth but if we go up, we can find out by right here. And there you go, there it is. So, Permian. Devonian, should I say. So that could have been uh, a source rock of some of the gold. You never know. But let's not worry about that. This video is getting a bit long and I'm blabbing on. So if we go to the township, you can see that there's a lot of areas that have been dug already uh, now they could still contain gold because in the 1880s they didn't have any metal detectors that so you can find gold a lot easier they just use a gravity test uh, with water so uh, a lot of the gold is probably still in there hasn't been found if we go to the map 
or Creswick, which is up here. So you can see a lot of the actual workings. So workings up north, to the west, to the south, to, yep, around here. A lot of it is now farmland or residential. So, and then you've got a lot of plantations. So, if you see here, a lot of it's pretty much inaccessible. Uh, this is not the 1880s anymore. A lot of this has been divided up into land. So you can try here. And there is Hamburger Hill. Uh, looks like it was probably a former quarry at some time. And that is on the map. Okay, let's look at the 1880s. So, if we can find this Creswick, you can see it has a lot of alluvial rock down there. And uh, here's Hamburger Hill. Hamburger Hill is also alluvium. So that's probably, looks like it's a modern mining practice that is. That has pretty much exhausted any type of gold deposits that might have been there. It looks like it's pretty easily accessible to people as well. So, that is uh, Hamburger Hill. Is there any other alluvium deposits around Hamburger Hill? Uh, so, here we have Hamburger Hill. As you can see, it's been pretty much mined out. Uh, yeah, we've got some more around there. There's uh, quite a few large areas that haven't been mined. And if we look at Hamburger Hill, uh, it's probably. I'm just having a look at the actual map. Uh, probably around this area, I would say. So, uh, that's probably a good place to look. And there's also a lot of areas down south. So, it's going to be a bit tricky. Uh, to find these areas on a map like this but if we go to if we use that hamburger hill as a point we can cross over so this is probably over over here somewhere and looks like it's all Probably don't know, don't know, don't know what that is. So we've got this road going around there. Let's see if we can find that. Okay, so it's going around there. It's a Midland Highway, and that point. So we need a third point to find it, and I don't see any third point that we can find. Uh, but I would say it's probably in this section here. If we look close up, that is. Oh, looks like it's a plantation. So that's probably a no go. And if we go to the old map, I don't see any alluvium there. So it's probably one of these valleys here. So this map is probably not going to be real useful. Uh, because uh, because um, a lot of the roads and this township itself has changed but we can still use it like we have the allu uh, deep leads so it does show the deep leads and there is a deep lead going from Quarry Hill up north so Quarry Hill, if we have a look, um, can we find Quarry Hill? Let's see, this is where it gets a bit tricky, oh, it's a bit north of that, so that seems to be still there, those houses, a bit more modern. 
So it's somewhere north of Crescent Creek. Crescent Creek, oh, there, there it is. So they bleed. Uh, it's probably, I would say it's probably the form of creek itself. You can, it looks like you can see a little bit of it there. Probably the former creek. And it goes all the way in farmland, so that's pretty much a no-go. It's inaccessible unless you get their permission. Uh, but as you can see, it goes all the way up into this area. And if you go to the east of it, you can see a lot of deep leads. So this map is good for finding deep leads, but the downside is, is that a lot of it is on farmland. You can see all the farmland here. And you can see there's not that much forest, so uh, a lot of this is pretty much out of date and inaccessible. So if we go to the geological map again, And you can see a lot. So it looks like volcanics, yeah. So it's been covered by volcanics, which is the the uh, deep leads. So that's why they're still there. So you've got the river there, and you've got a lot of shafts, and you've got a lot of mining there. No, but this one doesn't show the deep leads, so. You could put it on yourself, or maybe it does. Okay, so but what the geological map is good for, it has orogenic gold. So these golds that uh, been the quartz veins, or just in the faults. And uh, it gives a grid reference as well. So you can buy, find that on the map. Uh, and it gives a very some information, and then you've got place of gold. So this is the alluvial deposits that has been eroded out, and that's quite extensive. So you can see how extensive it is, and it's all in alphabetical order. And this is the gold field so you can see uh, so what do we got 209 so 209 is young and sons of freedom then we got 80 80 is which one's 80 uh, credit console so just different different deposits so This shows where the place of deposits are, and it's in the town, so you're not really going to be able to access any of it. And it's probably pretty much been mined out. So, uh, my analysis is that Creswick is probably not a good place to look for gold. You need to get permission from a lot of landholders if you want to look at it. So. Let's have a look at Creswick again. So it's Creswick again. So what you need to do is probably go down south. So up north, where they did find a lot of gold in the past, is uh, pretty much all farmland out of bounds. So if we go down south, and this video is definitely way too long now. Uh, but yeah, my video, I don't care. So if we go down south, you have also a lot of uh, areas that have been mined as well. So you can probably try your luck down there. I would say that that's a pretty good idea. And if we look on the older map, we've got around Hamburger Hill and down south. Down south we don't have much. Uh, we go up some alluvial deposits uh, most of it is supposed to be the uh, Silurian sandstone but this map is a lot better so this is the Ordovician sandstone and uh, a lot of uh, eroded areas and 
the new volcanics so this help I hope this helps you with your gold at Creswick and having a look at the map and seeing what you can get out of it uh, but you know, both maps together are good because they have different information one is deep leads the other one is the geological information one is uh, the contour lines are easier to read and the other one the contour lines are a bit difficult so this one's a bit difficult uh, the contour lines here are actually quite easy to read but uh, this map is out of date and this is the more current one so thank you very much and I hope you find some gold in your life